Hello guys, welcome back. So, uh, this particular build order guide for you here is for the new Persians and uh, it's actually a 12 minutes 55 seconds fast castle into knights and monks and it's a strategy I've actually got around 75 to 80% win rate at the moment. I think I've won 12 out of 16 so uh, only lost 4 uh, with it so far which is pretty pretty good. It's actually something I've been in uh, kind of working on for a little while. Um, I did originally go Knights and then Siege, but that seemed to kind of mess things up a little bit. Uh, it wasn't very good. <laughs> uh, plus, I made it a little bit faster as well, which probably helps. Um, so, um, yeah, pretty pretty good. Knights and Monks. Uh, certainly not something people expect from the Persians. Certainly uh, the Monk act aspect of it, because so they're not the best Monks uh, in the game. But in terms of the start, it's your standard six on Sheep. Uh, and then we're going to lure the first boar, which is quite common. Uh, for build orders nowadays, certainly these uh, uh, fast castle builds or the uh, even the faster uh, like scout rushes and stuff tend to get the uh, boar first. Um, once we got that boar in, next four villages are going to go to wood. Um, we are going to make a house as well with the, with the fourth villager that's going over there, uh, just so that we've got some houses. And uh, basically, as soon as we've found the deer, we are going to start pushing them in. We want to get those deer in as soon as possible. Uh, try not to kind of push too many in at, at once. Um, you want to make sure you you're not taking off multiple carcasses, really, or as, as few carcasses as possible. Uh, so maybe just everyone on board, and then just two on the deer when you get to that point. Uh, just because obviously there's going to be a lot of rot as well, and it is quite a tight build order. So if you've got losing quite a bit of food to rot so if you've got two deer here that are all just rotting away you probably won't be able to do the build um, but now we've got the foreign wood we're going to start adding two more villages onto the boar the uh, second village that comes out is going to lure the first boar just kind of do it um, as best as you can really um, or, or when you need to when you see fit I mean, we're a little bit lucky there because that deer is just about to come in Bit of TC idle time there, it's fine, it's fine. Um, there we go, we've got that second ball coming in. Uh, we're still pushing the deer. You'll see, I've got eight on that deer at the moment. Six of them will come off and go onto the ball, so we'll just leave two on deer. Um, but we're now going to send six villagers over to the berries. Um, we will make a house as well when we need to, uh, which will probably be the third villager that comes out normally and we'll make the house. Uh, but yeah, we're going to have to go for six because we can't afford a farm, basically. So we're having to put six on the berries. Um, which is quite good because it means that, you know, we can quickly get those berries gathered uh, than, than if we went four or five. So it does, it is fine. Uh, as you can see, we've got more, more deer coming in. Okay, so it must be this village that makes the uh, makes the house. There we go. And then to finish the build off, we're just going to go two on wood, and then um, research loom, and then click up to the castle age, uh, feudal age. Um, apologies, I'm struggling a little bit. I've got uh, I've actually got COVID at the minute. I've had it for three weeks, and um, I'm quite <laughs> quite snotty. Uh, just to share that with you. So if I do sound a little bit off that'd be why so yeah next two villages over to wood then loom and then we're going to cl click up as you can see we're just getting that third and final deer in we do need all of the deer as is always the case with these types of builds uh, and you will find when we're at the stage of clicking up the castle age you will need to be conscious of dropping all your food off um, you're not going to be there with all of the food that you need. Um, so that will mean dropping off food from your berries and from your town centre. So that costs a few seconds uh, TC idle time probably. Um, it should be fine. Now, once we've clicked up, we're going to build a barracks. And that's all we've got to do whilst we're, we're advancing. So perhaps just use one from the, uh, from the berries there just to... Uh, make that kind of do it in a way where it's going to be protecting you a little bit I mean technically I could have built it just north of the the mill there between the wood line and the mill that might have been a good idea um, 
I don't suppose it really matters. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. You don't want to be losing your scout like that. Um, so let's fast forward. So when we hit the food age, we're going to send two villages over to gold. You might want to send them onto straggler trees first because you got you are going to struggle for wood uh, if you've had to build palisades around your your villages, which I would recommend you're going to do. Um, we're going to send two villages to make the stable, three villages to make the market. That's just so the market's up. Um, as quickly as possible. And we're going to do it with the wood villagers because we want those buildings to form part of our defences uh, to get keep your wood villagers walled in. Um, we're going to sell 200 uh, stone and then we should be able to, to click up if we've kind of dropped off the food where we needed to and there we go, we are on our way up um, to the castle age. We've sent th uh, three villagers from sheep over to the uh, gold there and then all these other villages is going to make farms we're going to when we can we're going to get uh, bloodlines as well so we should be able to get bloodlines in uh, just in time for when we hit the castle age you could even send an extra villager or two over to the gold if you really wanted to and then your new villagers can come out and make farms um, I tend to do it with five on gold and then um, add a couple on to onto gold and then new villages onto farms after that but it doesn't really matter I don't think so perhaps a little bit later could have done with dropping off some food maybe to get bloodlines in it's only just coming in I don't think it'll be quite in in time because uh, you normally find with bloodlines you've got to do it by the time you're halfway up to castle age was probably about 60% then uh, maybe 65 wasn't really paying attention but I don't think it'll quite come in in time it's gonna be pretty close isn't it yeah it's gonna be very close which is fine it's only gonna be a few seconds uh, if anything but there we go we just hit the cast stage at 12.54 and uh, we're gonna make another couple of uh, villages send them onto gold and then the next villages come out is actually gonna go forward uh, we're just gonna make a couple of knights uh, we will keep making knights but you know once you've got two or three uh, go forward with a villager because you're going to want to make the uh, forward monastery Obviously at this point you might be being attacked so um, you know, your, your knights will be doing a job there um, So just kind of wing it to some extent at this point So if you are under quite a bit of pressure obviously use your knights to to fight that off and just hold off from sending a villager forward Bury villagers just do what you want with them really either add, add them onto farms or move them onto gold um, I've done farms I think by the look of it uh, mainly but we want to be getting up to about 13 farms in total uh, that's quite a good number it should maintain um, night and villager production there obviously you're going to want a few more on the gold to maintain night and some milk production so um, seven should be enough to maintain night production but you're going to want a, a, a little bit more uh, for the monks and as you can see we're just sending a villager forward now we've got the, the three knights and you, you know you're looking around 15 minutes to be sending that villager forward uh, to start making that monastery and as I say at this point we've just added on a load of farms not quite at 13 and these two straggler tree villages I'll make some farms soon but we're at the point where we're just starting to add some more villages onto the uh, gold so the reason why I've not put those farms down yet is because I wanted to make sure I've still got the the wood for the monastery which is uh, going to be on its way now there you go, I made a farm in mine, uh, <laughs> or a house, might have been a house. I made something that's stolen, uh, used up some wood. Come on, come on. And obviously with these knights you can just yeah, put pressure on your opponent. There we go, monastery's coming down now. And there we go, and that's essentially it. At this point just keep making knights, uh, add some monks. What you're going to be doing is converting uh, the villagers. So let me just speed it up so you can see. Um, just keep converting villages basically and you'll find that your economy is uh, really really strong most games I end up with uh, quite a strong uh, eco lead uh, over my opponent because of um, the fact that obviously whilst I'm converting they're losing one I'm gaining one so just from a couple of conversions there I've now got a villager lead of, uh, of one and obviously if your knights are getting in there they're picking off villagers as well um, should be really good now obviously you're thinking 
Um, yeah, but you know, in a real game, you're going to have walls here uh, from your opponent. That's why you have the monks. The the knights will put uh, pressure on the uh, walls, whilst your monks um, convert the villagers that are coming over to you know build houses behind the palisades, basically. So um, eventually, you know, you should quite easily find a way into the enemy base. Um, but that is it for this video, guys. Do uh, subscribe if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more build orders. And uh, on the screen now, we do have a 1v1 game of me doing this on the uh, ranked ladder. So cheers, guys. I shall see you on the next one.